And we're back in the kitchen with our good friend Anna Quincoses. We miss I you so much. I am happy to be here, and I love this music when I come on. It's right? like Latina music. Yeah, you know. You is this just for me? Yeah, it really is. Really? What kind of music do you have when I'm not here? Um, it varies, you know. Yeah. We go, we go through the decades. Yeah, right, okay. right. We have. Yeah, yeah. Have a lot we mix of it up. So oh, nice. So good to you. Really. I mean, huge fan. I watch you. I watch you. I'm a fan too. Also, how are these guys treating you? These guys are great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For the most this part. For the stuff. most part. Yeah. Every every so often, I have to like slap them. Yeah. <laughs> they need, they you, need a little slapping. You know what I'm talking around. about. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here. I'm a. I love sangria, so I'm so yeah. excited to see what you have here. Mm. And this seems like a new variation. You've got a lot of citrus fruit. Yes. So tell me more about this you know, specific sangria. I, I I like that sangria is something that you can make with really anything you have at home. That, that, that's kind of like my favorite thing. Like, I scour my you know cabinets and see what I can make without yeah. having to go to the grocery store. So, mm. we happen to have some champagne. You know, like it doesn't have to be. This is the great <laughs> thing about sangria as well. You don't have to use it. This is like a nine, ten dollar bottle of champagne. Cost and it's question. a sparkling sangria. You know, it gets hot in Miami, and yeah. uh, you know, if in the summer. For the beach, everything else. I think this is great because yeah. sparkling is just kind of. Or if you're out on the boat, this looks great to be yes. out on the boat. And yes. Drink. Yeah. So I'm going to give you this because mm -hmm. we want you to feel useful. Hold on. Okay. Yeah. And of course, that's a great job for George since he's eating right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Right? That's all he's doing. Mm -hmm. Champagne is sort of like a yeah. party in a bottle, yeah. right? It so really, really is, and it makes it festive. It's just the bubbles. You know, traditional uh, sangria. You know, it's made with red wine, and it's a little heavier to go with the Spanish food. Right. It has vermouth in it. It has that kind of stuff. But this is kind of light and. It's great for, I don't know, anything. The beach, well, yeah, a baby the shower, pool. girls <laughs> yeah. hanging out, my book I was going to say wedding, but not really, right? Well, unless it's like a really hot day. Well, I'll tell a you what. boozy brunch. Yes, a boozy brunch. Yeah. I'll tell you mm -hmm. what I love to do. I love to set up bars for everything. And a sangria bar is one of my favorite things to do because I put all different kinds of fruit, and then I make the sangria in one of those things with the little um, spigot, yeah. and yeah. people will then add whatever they want, and they love that. People, oh, I put extra cherries in mine, or I put extra, right. you know. That I kind think, of thing. I think people like when it's a little bit DIY and they can customize yes, things because yes, it gets yes. it, if if they come to a party, not that they wouldn't have something to talk about because mm. I have a feeling all of your friends are really talking yeah. about I know they are. Yeah. <laughs> but for those shy people, it right. does give them some work to do at the party and it's a great way to yeah. talk to someone absolutely. at the bar. It's it, absolutely. Make it you, rain champagne. Are you okay with the cheese over there? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, we're, uh, yeah, I, I really like this. I'm really digging the, the okay. cheese. We're glad you're so, digging it. So we're Let's putting the champagne in. What else are we so doing here? First, I'm going to put in some lemonade. You okay. can make your own lemonade, or there, there's some great already prepared lemonades. Love it. So we're going to do a little lemonade. Depends how sweet you like it. I like. I buy the brute champagne, so it's extra mm -hmm. dry. Mm -hmm. We're going to add champagne to that. Ah. And now ah. a, a traditional sangria, like sometimes that. they've already soaked the fruit. So you here, are you the soaking fruit. the fruit or? They don't really need to. You, you need could to. if you want to, but this is mostly citrus. So okay. we're adding some clementines Love and those. some lemons and limes. So and this, this seems really simple. So it simple. seems like if you had friends you weren't expecting to have them come over, mm -hmm. you can just go around your house, see yes. what you have and put it all Improvised together. Improvised party. I, I have some, like, I always have frozen berries uh. for smoothies. So you can add some raspberries. This would really look beautiful. I was going to bring some and forgot. Oh, <laughs> and like a that. little Sprite because you know you don't you you want that kind of knock you out. Yeah, right? yeah, like yeah, all yeah. of a sudden it's like oh I'm fine. It's like and then boom. What right. happened? Yeah. What was that? I passed yeah. out and exactly. yeah. I blacked out on everything that happened. That's the goal. <laughs> that's the goal. So and you know you could also do this. I don't know why you would want to, but you could do it non-alcoholic. If mm. for kids, for yeah. example, my girls, they love the idea of holding champagne glasses when they were little. Mm -hmm. So I would buy them the sparkling um, cider. apple cider, and they would be part of the sangria That's party as well. Right. Also, what else could you get to replace this? Can vodka work? No, nope. George, no. Vodka. What about uh, tequila? A little bit of tequila. <laughs> A shot of tequila. We can do a shot of tequila. Right, okay, we, we just... can add a shot of tequila and see how that works. A little shot of Patron. So, mm. and of course with this cheese, have you tried, he hasn't even let you try the no, cheese. No, he hasn't. I'm sorry. But I'm going to propose a toast. Okay. Yes. To wonderful meals and great new friends. Yes. And delicious sangria, right? I will right? do a yes. lot more cooking and here. And to Anna coming back. On the Daily Flash. Yes. I'll be back yes. in a flash. You're going to join oh, us a lot more too. We're excited I that will. you're going to be on I regularly. Will. Yeah, yeah the there's awesome. something in the works already for next week. And it's going to involve you? a little collaboration. So uh, I'm very excited about that. Uh, yeah. And I think everybody else should be, uh, especially everybody do. else in the studio as well, because yeah. it's going to be delicious. Yeah, hey. him and I cooking together, there's going to be trouble oh, in awesome. the kitchen. Oh, man. Smells so Cheers, good you guys. Cheers. <laughs>
This is great for like a little Sunday brunch. You can do this for your mom. Mmm. Oh yeah, this is perfect for Mother's Day. This is moms, a great thing like, for Mother's Day. Too, yeah. right? This is good stuff. Have you, you tried? You camera guys don't know what you're missing. Isn't it good? You <laughs> yeah, know what it I'm is. Right? It's, it's, it's a no-brainer. Took two seconds. Yeah. And I think that that's what people like. People like mm. things that are simple. I think people are afraid to get in the kitchen because they think, oh, I'm going to slave over a hot stove. Mm. Or I'm going to do... But something as simple as this, people get to your yeah. house, have yeah. a nice cheese plate. Of course. Yeah. Of course. And it's super well, light. You Thank you so much for being here. My you. pleasure. Hey, yeah, thanks again for joining us, Anna. We loved you having on. And next, we're going to be looking for the next, the perfect Mother's Day gift. Warren and I are being joined by Arts and Crafts Guru. Guru, Indy Annie Jones. Plus, we're dipping into the Daily Flash mailbag. Don't move. Stick around, guys.